All right, today I want to look at Masked Rider Tiger from Kamen Rider Ryuki. Um, I think I've only reviewed one Kamen Rider Ryuki figure, uh, figure art, and that was Guy. Um, but if I didn't say then, um, out of all of the figure arts that I own, which is quite a few, the Ryuki body is my favorite. It's very, very solid, no loose joints. Um, uh, the articulation is really well engineered, well realized. <clears throat> they can just take such great realistic poses. It's one of the ones that has die cast feet, of which I am a fan. Uh, the ones that have plastic feet aren't necessarily bad, but I always have more problems balancing the ones with, with plastic feet. Um, somebody a few months ago posted a picture of Knight Survive from the Ryuki line balancing on a single toe joint, and there's probably no way that I can replicate that. Really quick, the box is pretty. <clears throat> I'm sure there's no way I can replicate that, but the point is th that they, they're they really um, solid figures. And yeah, there's no way I'll be able to balance it here because this is not a completely firm surface. Uh, but the articulation is great. And this particular figure has a, a weird thing on his back. That... I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's not a, a normal hinged shoulder pad, so it can restrict his articulation here in the shoulder. He can't go up too high. If you notice there, they're actually slightly movable. I think they're actually on some sort of ball joint, so they can still go up a little bit more to get out of the way of that um, port. But he is not going to be raising his arms too far over his head that way doesn't restrict it. Well, yeah, it does. <clears throat> but the rest of the articulation is very unrestricted, very good. The sculpt is beautiful. I don't think I can really zoom in with this camera. But I can mess up the white balance. Hooray! And I can't put it back either. Well... Uh, anyway, um, the detail. The, the This guy's design is really good. All of the Ryuki figures have pretty much the same arms and legs. The only difference is generally in their mask, the shoulder, and chest armor. And I really like the design of his chest. Um, it's just interesting. The helmet, or mask, I think is really cool. Big silver section goes all the way back. Cool diamond in the back. And then the things reminiscent of a tiger. Alright, I'm babbling. Let's get the accessories. Tiger comes with a bunch of accessories. <clears throat> he comes with some teeny itty bitty little cards that uh, I think these are his. I'm not actually sure. I don't really use the cards because they're very tiny and I am just no longer as dexterous as I used to be. So I don't know if I could pick these up again if I dropped them on a table. But he comes with, uh, it looks like three. He comes with his visor. I don't know what it's called. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, his visor is a big old axe with a lot of great sculpting. Check out the head of the axe there. It's, the blade's got sculpted detail in it. The head there has a cool tiger motif sculpted into it. It's got a nice sharp point that is sharp. And it opens. This part slides down, or the other one slides up. And I guess you put his cards right in there. And you can see his tiger symbol in there. The uh, advent deck in his belt is also removable. So I guess you can count that as an accessory. He comes with a plethora of hands, as do all the Ryuki figures. He comes with two different types of holding things hands. Let's see if you can, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but one is 
straight up and down. Like so. And one pair is angled forward slightly. Like so. And he comes with a left and a right in both of those. He comes with punching things hands, i.e. fists. Comes with card holding hands, again a left and a right. And he comes with two different styles of sort of relaxed posed hands. One with the fingers slightly more spread out, open. And again, both left and right of those. So all in all, that's two, four, five, six, six pairs of hands. Which is a twelve hands in total. It's a lot of hands. <clears throat> and then he also comes with his strike vent, which are these cool, giant tiger paw dealies. Uh, they are great. They ha are, have five individually articulated claws. Each claw is on a ball joint with a decent amount of range. So you can have really big splayed open claws for gouging people's faces off, which is what I would do if I had tiger claws. I actually haven't seen Ryuki enough to know what this guy does with them, or you can have them really close together. I guess you could make one big giant gouge. Um, this thing moves a little bit on one side, not on the other. And they are kind of a pain to get on. That's the only problem with these things. Pop off the hand. Changing the hands is nice and easy. It is not ridiculously hard like the double line is. But you have to put that peg in that tiny little hole that may not be able to see because it's in the shadow. And oftentimes that happens. The peg will just move because I didn't have it lined up right. And even when I do have it lined up right, it's really hard to get it to push from the correct angle to go in. So generally, once I get them on, I don't take them off. I had to put them in storage because I was moving. So he, this guy's been boxed up for a few weeks. Those ports fall off sometimes. It's not a big deal, except don't lose them. Oh, I almost had it, I thought. Well, it's holding vaguely for me, so we'll pretend it's on. And then you position the claws in a way that looks appropriately frightening or something. And then he can make scary faces at the camera. So, Tiger, really cool. Uh, really like him. Retail release, really great paint, colors. Really cool accessories. I love his axe. Um, it's just so big and scary looking. And then, of course, his strike vent. <coughs> Claws of Death style. Highly recommend this figure. It was a retail release, <coughs> as have been most of the Yuki figures. So he shouldn't be too hard to get a hold of. Oh, and I just killed the white balance again. So check him out on Mandarake or maybe Amiami or HLJ or one of the other... Japanese stores has them in stock. Definitely a recommended figure.